Hey guys, let's talk about this recent news. Again, I have some time to consider what the repercussions are. I've always known this was MTG Finance. When MTG Finance tells you we're here to build the community, how are they building the community? Are they making cards cheaper for everyone? Are they making cards more available for everyone? No, that is not the goals of MTG Finance. MTG Finance, it's the sole goal is to make money for yourself. And it's very greedy, very anti-community, and I'm always constantly confused when MTG Finance tries to make itself community-based because it doesn't make any sense. Now, they have drawn the ire of a certain Martin, and now he is, figures that he can get attention. Where did he under, Where did he figure this out? Probably because he read something about Craig being the new Martin, and Martin wanted to be the Martin, so now we don't have any use for Craig. But Craig is still doing interviews, like he's a celebrity. It's a joke. Craig, that is a joke because you have done something which has replaced you. We don't need to talk about Craig's anymore. Who cares about Craig's? I only care about the Martins. Martin will be the first of his type. There will be more, more, bigger, worse versions. And he's probably going to... The problem with magic cards is that they are un... They are very liquid assets that are untracked by the government. Just like Rudy said from Alpha Investments, that makes them a perfect source for money money laundering. So if I was a drug kingpin and I heard about this Magic the Gathering cards and I knew that it was a safe investment, I would wash all my money away with Magic the Gathering cards. Yes, that would inflate prices, but I'm okay with it because I am a drug kingpin. And that's the only way I can wash my money. Now, it is a debate. Uh, Wizards of Coast is obviously the center of the debate. I don't feel like they would do anything because they are always so afraid of being sued by like everyone, by these so-called collectors who will sue Wizards of Coast. I have never heard of any of them. But, well, I mean, they're out there, right? So one thing is get getting rid of the reserve list uh, would help. Banning all reserve list cards would help. But at the end of the day, we have invited a guy who has made AIDS medication increase it by 5,000%. That's who we invited into our hobby. That's who MTG Finance has drawn into our hobby. Now, he's also known for creating a League of Legends team, which sucks, by the way, and not paying them. He's not a great guy. He's not a great guy, but he is the face of MTG Finance, and he is the face of, he will be the face of the reserve list going on. And MTG Finance should be extremely proud of itself. They have pretty much marketed themselves out because you are small, small fish compared to the Martins and their mutual funds and the drug kingpins and the drug dealers. <laughs> They have now recognized magic is a asset and it can easily be exchanged for cash whenever. Why would they not buy magic cards as investments? Because they're not magic players. They don't care about the game. They don't care about people playing the game. The solution is proxies. It has to be. It is. So... Rant over.